So yeah, I'm uh, Dave Kaiser um, with IDS in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we've developed the next generation aerosol printing technology. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how we're leveraging the aerosol printing technology to print fine lines over 3D surfaces. Let's see. So the image on the right shows some gold lines we recently printed. Um, in fact, they're sales samples, but they're 20 micron wide gold lines um, that we printed using the nanojet technology. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of other technology options available for doing fine line printing as well. And we have them list some of the technologies listed on the left. And we've broken them down into two categories, primarily contact printing and then non-contact printing. Um, contact printing includes technologies such as lithography, screen printing, roll-to-roll -roll printing, uh, lithography and screen printing, or lithography and roll-to-roll -roll printing can print very fine features. And all of these technologies are very mature and, and um, can be used for production applications. The non-contact printing, we've included valve jetting, um, ink jetting, and aerosol jetting. Um, now, as you start to look at the um, different technologies, you'll see like, um, if, all right, so, so as we try to print features like this um, strain gauge that's shown here and printed onto a 3D structure, some of these technologies um, are you know, become less useful or less applicable to what we can do. Um, in particular, um, uh, the contact printing methods, you know, by the very nature are require contact with the surface and are mostly used um, for printing onto plain, planar surfaces. And so these technologies, even though they're capable of printing very fine features and, and high volumes, basically are not very useful for printing onto 3D structures. Um, the non-contact printing methods, the jetting methods, actually are much more useful for printing onto 3D structures. Um, and so um, we're going to look at these technologies specifically and review them, um, kind of the attributes of each of these printing technologies, and um, explain why we think the aerosol printing technologies is really the best technology for printing fine features onto 3D surfaces. If you look at valve jetting, um, valve jetting is um, able to print lines that are greater than 200 microns in width, you know, greater than 20 microns in thickness. It has a, the standoff distance between the dispense tip and the, the substrate can be up to five millimeters, and the print head can be tilted up to about 45 degrees. All the attributes for valve jetting make it really useful for printing onto 3D structures. Um, a large standoff distance, um, the ability to kind of manipulate the print head and stuff like that. However, um, the fact that you can print only, you know, features, you know, maybe down to about 200 microns really limits the ability to use this technology for fine line printing. You know, inkjet printing, on the other hand, um, you know, can print features down to about 70 microns up to maybe a millimeter in width. Um, the printed width the heights are, are reported to be sort of between a half micron and five microns uh, for inkjet printing. Uh, the standoff distance for inkjet printing is much less than a millimeter between the output of the inkjet nozzle and the, and the um, substrate that it'll be printed onto. And the inkjet print head really has no ability for tilting. Um, as we start to look at um, the ability to use inkjet printing for printing onto 3D structures, uh, the requirement for the print head's uh, close proximity to the substrate and the, um, the, the width of the print head itself really limits the ability of using inkjet printing technology for printing onto 3D structures. Um, now, finally, we're going to talk a little bit about the aerosol printing technology. We can print features ranging down to 15 microns um, and about 300 microns in width in a single pass. Um, and, you know, we've done better in the lab. Um, however, this is sort of a, a good range that can be done over and over repetitively by our customers. Um, we can print features that are um, arranged in thickness from about a half micron thick up to uh, 10 microns thick. Recently, we were able to demonstrate that we could put uh, print lines that were 15 microns thick at a, a speed of about 5 millimeters per second, which is really exciting for us. Um, we're really trying to push the output rates of our materials and our, our printing capabilities. Um, the distance between the nozzle and the uh, print substrate is uh, up to 10 millimeters. Um, the aerosol printing technology is highly collimated, and so the aerosol stream doesn't diverge much over this range. And so you get a, pretty much a very uniform print width um, as the uh, surface topography changes. 
And recently we've been able to demonstrate that we can print up to about 20 degree um, by tilting the head at 20 degrees. All of the attributes um, that we discussed here for aerosol printing make it very useful for printing onto 3D surfaces. And the fact that we can print very fine features really make aerosol jet or aerosol jetting um, very useful for printing onto um, non-planar surfaces or 3D structures. So um, and that's kind of what we're, we're putting some of our focus on. How do we, where do we, you know, fit well into areas that we can um, provide value to customers? Um, let's see. So that's the it. I tried to talk quickly. Um, probably I'm not sure where I am. But anyway, thank you very much. If you have questions regarding the talk, please come to exhibit room three and we'll be there to answer any questions you have. Thank you.